Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the event boxing show, and uh, let's get to it. So we all know the latest news circulating uh, Oscar Valdez and, uh, you know, failing the A and B sample uh, against his fight against Robson Conseco from Brazil. Uh, you know, uh, it was a great match uh, from both parties. Uh, unfortunately, you know, a lot of people believe uh, Robson Conseco won, but um, you know, at the end of the night, uh, at the end of the day, Oscar Valdez still came out with the W, uh, regardless of the controversy. Um, uh, if you were to uh, count, you know, a lot of the power punches and uh, the harder punches that were more landed towards uh, Robson by Oscar Valdez, uh, you know, I think he, he deserved the win regardless. Uh, you know, uh, Robson was... Uh, kind of keeping his distance even though he was landing uh but he wasn't as aggressive towards the later rounds he started uh, uh you know moving a lot uh being flashy and just being uh, goofy in there and uh he you know that basically uh you know spanked him in the ass you know that he lost his opportunity in those last few rounds i think against valdez and that's where i think uh, uh oscar valdez came out you know victorious with the w um so uh, in regards of that, there's a lot of speculation of that and also Jim also, you know, being targeted at, uh, you know, because of the whole uh, PED scandal and whatnot and what he might be giving his fighters and whatnot. Uh, so a lot of rumors, a lot of devish behaviors by, uh, you know, a lot of YouTubers out there promoting boxing, uh, you know, um, and People are saying that Canelo Alvarez, you know, uh, that he he just hits so hard, you know. But the guy, that's his natural, uh, that's his skill. That's his, uh, you know, it's been with him since he was fighting as a pro at 15 in Mexico. Regardless if he was fighting cab drivers, uh, mechanics, grocery store clerks, it doesn't matter. Like, you can still see the guy's physique was big and uh, he was a strong dude. He's still a strong dude. And he's picking up his weight uh, pretty good. And he's a lot shorter than a lot of these boxers that he's fighting. But uh, he manages to keep his calm and his cool. And uh, his defense is up there. His uh, his offense is up there. And he's a strong, strong, uh, in-your-face type of dude. And he has skills. Um, so I don't take anything away from Canelo Alvarez, um, you know, uh, in terms of his... Uh, his hard work ethic and his dedication and motivation for the sport, the love for the sport that he has. And, uh, you know, he has a wonderful family. He's a family man. The guy, uh, he comes from nothing. He comes from the gutter. He comes from, you know, from selling candies on the, on the, on the street in Mexico. He, he's, he deserves what he has. So, uh, you know, I would never take anything away from him, regardless of the, uh, of him being uh, positive three years ago for Complutero, but you know he erased his name. He gave up the the hair follicle, follicle, and uh, you know we got to move forward as boxing fans. Uh, but a lot of people are saying that uh, you know that it's funny to them because he keeps his stamina in fights as of late. You know since the uh, the fights with the the Golden Child uh, Jacobs and. Uh, uh, the uh, the Triple G matchup, you know, a lot of people are saying that, oh, he kept his, uh, you know, he was ga gassing out. He was uh, running out of fumes. You know, he was running out of gasoline, out of diesel. He he had no power. He had no, 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 uh, no stamina. He, he couldn't hang. You know, he was getting tired and you can see it in him. And now all of a sudden, you know, he's, he's uh, keeping his stamina up there. He, his condition is up there. And, uh, you know, I still, like I'm saying, I don't take anything away from Canelo and I uh, never will or a fighter where I see him uh, looking stronger. All of a sudden, he's lasting through fights. Why? Because um, every style is different. Every fighter has a different style. Styles make fights and uh, you can't take anything away. You know, obviously, uh Triple G is a come straight forward in your face type of fighter. Uh, Danny Jacobs as well. He's a very technically sound, but at the same time, he's in your face. He's aggressive. He shows a lot of aggressive. When he fought Lara and when he fought Trout, uh, Canelo, obviously, he 
could last a little bit longer because uh you know these are ranger fighters are more flashy more flamboyant uh with the uh, uh money may floyd money mayweather uh fight you know he uh was just getting frustrated outclassed obviously it was evident and uh uh, you'll be foolish to even uh, argue that, you know, uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather at the time was a very good boxer. He still lives, um, you know, he's just getting older. But, uh, you know, Canelo, uh, he was still a young cat, 23. A lot of people be bashing, you know, young fighters. Uh, you know, they get a lot of ridicule. And that's I feel like that's what happens to a lot of fighters, uh, you know, when they get their first big fight and they lose, such as uh, Fernando Vargas. You know, he wasn't the same when he fought Tito Ortiz. You know, from Puerto Rico, he wasn't the same. Uh, he was a young cat. You know, he was beating all these dudes coming up on the way up. But uh, you know, it wasn't his night. You know, um, you know there was a lot of uh, uh, odds against him, a lot of bets against him, and he lost the fight. You know, he he wasn't the same after that. You know, even though he had a lot of uh, greater fights to our, throughout throughout his career, such as Winky Wright and uh, Oscar De La Hoya. But um, he just wasn't the same. He had a lot of losses. He suffered a lot of losses, uh, and just the mental aptitude. He couldn't keep up with the with the pressure of, of that of that big fight, his first big fight, and he lost. He got knocked out, and uh, you know, Teal took the W. But Fernando Vargas, you know, he's a blessed man, and he kept moving forward. He fought his demons. And he's not on top now. He has, you know, three future world champions, you know, and uh, my respects to the Vargas family. And uh, so going on with Canelo, you know, obviously, yeah, he, he's going to have fights where he gets more gassed out than others. Doesn't mean he's positive for a, a banned substance. I mean, the blame's on uh, Oscar Valdez now. You know, the, the pressure, the whole mind games, the whole divish, uh, 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 tweets and uh, Instagram DMs and YouTube comments and uh, email and phone calls back and forth uh, that you know Canelo is is still cheating and using peds. Man, we gotta get around that. And uh, at the end of the night, at the end of the day, um, no one could take that away from a Canelo Alvarez. You know, he fought his way out from from nothing to to having a lot, having riches, having uh, everything that he he. He's always fought for, and uh, the same goes to other fighters. You know, uh, they've had their run-ins with uh, slumps throughout the road, but they came back, bounced from their losses, their uh, hardships, and you know they're they're back on top. And Canelo Alvarez, you know, he um, he looks a lot stronger because he's you know going up in weight. His natural walking weight, I believe, is like 180, 190. Man, come on. That's a lot of weight, and he's a strong, solid dude. You can just tell uh, his back, his frame is. He has a very wide frame. He has big, big calves, big thighs. He's a big dude. Have you seen his forms? Even since you know his uh, his get go from uh, from uh, prize fighting in Mexico, you know uh, he he was still a strong dude. Obviously, they were building him up. You know, um, it looks like any other fighter. Uh, they build them up they build them up with you know kind of easy fights semi easy fights or you know just totally trash fighters that you know were these young up-and-comers with talent and you know they have the look and everything uh you know they, they're given that opportunity and uh i'm not saying it looks as terms of it you know in terms of his skin color because yeah regardless if he's white and red-headed there's a lot of mexicans in mexico that are red-headed and light-skinned and white and um it's just the way it is there's a small town in mexico where it's all german population and these german people uh so-called Ger uh, german people are actually mexican uh but you know it's it goes back to history where um you know there was a lot of uh french and uh, european colonizations in mexico and that's just the way it is and uh a lot of them are mixed though that's why mexicans are considered a mestizo culture uh you know we're not a race it's not a race it's uh it, that's just how it started from history uh there's fighters there's people that are very light skin complected 
and they're, and they're Mexican and they're not white they're but they're they're white in color obviously but uh, in terms of uh, their cultural background uh, they're from Mexico and um, I don't think uh, the race car should be even uh, should even be a green light for a lot of youtubers or pe people making rants that uh, you know because if you have the complexion you get it and uh, no it's not the case you know Floyd Mayweather you know he didn't have the complex the complexion you know obviously a lot of things throughout his career were unfair uh, boxing is very controversial obviously we all know a lot of corruption a lot of politics and uh evil politics at that not just uh political you know but politics in general is is very evil you know there's a lot of dark and shady people characters in that in that world um so it doesn't go any different for uh for boxing and a lot of people just want to uh point the finger at you know because of the color, because of the race and whatnot. But at the end of the night, it's not even about that, not even close. Uh, if you do think it's like that, if you feel like that, okay, more power to you. But, uh, you know, this goes back to the times of, you know, uh, the repression era, you know, Martin Luther King, you know, you know, you have uh, the, the Black Panther Party, uh, the organi big organi organization supporting uh, other races, uh, African American, you know, they're very, uh, we have a lot of rich uh, history here in America with the African American community. Uh, I'm proud to be part, you know, African American. And, uh, you know, it, that's just uh, a lot of a lot of the things that a lot of people don't talk about. They, they hide from it. But, you know, there's always a truth to everything. You know, the, the, the truth shall set you free. And... You just can't like uh, have an opinion without knowing the real facts, the new, the the true history behind uh, why everything is the way it is. And uh, as long as we have that, you know, that clo we're closed-minded and uh, live in a small box, uh, we're never gonna get, you know, open our eyes ever uh, to to the truth. So I don't feel it's the complexion, you know. It's I don't think it's a complexion thing. Uh, Yes, obviously the world is not perfect, a lot of racism, but uh, Canelo is, is a hard-working guy, hard-working champ, and, you know, he's tested his his, uh, his hair follicle, and uh, he's doing random testing with Bada, strict Bada testing with Bada, and uh, Usada, and what have you, and uh, there's no way around it uh, for Caleb Plant. Uh, I feel like Caleb Plant is a good fighter. He has to bring, uh, bring up his game, obviously. Fight night, uh, his A game, his A++++ A game, uh, triple OG, triple OG, triple OG A game uh, against Canelo Alvarez. And uh, it's not an easy fight for neither fighter, but I feel like Canelo has seen uh, far more far-fetched styles than uh, Caleb Plant. And, uh, you know, Caleb Plant can't let his uh, cheeks get clapped that night. You know, he has to come out on top and he has to be sweet pea that night you know he uh can't let canelo just come and walk him down he has to move around use a lot of lateral movements but be smart and use power uh it's a very hard to uh, uh scare or worry uh, canelo with uh with any power because i feel he's fought in a lot of stronger other f opponents uh like kovalev and uh you know you had a, a washed up kirkland and whatnot but uh He's fought a, a lot of stronger opponents. Uh, you know, Caleb Plant has to be smart, be aggressive, but move out. Be aggressive, move out. Get in, move. Uh, be aggressive, move out. Throw body shots. Slow down Canelo, and that's that's the only way you know for him to survive at that. But uh, I definitely do not see him winning against Canelo Alvarez, uh, the pound for pound king. And um, I don't care who argues against that. You know, that's just what I think. And uh, I mean, it's it's the truth. Yeah, I know. It's the truth. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Because why is everybody uh, trying to call out Canelo now? You know, before he even fought Money Man, no one was trying to call him out because no one wanted to get that zero on their record. And the news kid from uh, from out of nothing from Mexico coming to you know invading America, beating a lot all these uh. uh uh, champions and uh, people in the division that you know are in his way due to success to greatness and he's beating them and then uh, you know but Floyd Mayweather beats him uh, there's a controversial match with Lara 
and uh, all of a sudden everybody wants to fight him and get and you know be renowned the cash the, the cash king but um you know, regardless of anything, Canelo is going to be the cash king until someone even, like, knocks him out or beats him convincingly. Because uh, uh, as of now, I don't see a lot of great competition out there uh, for him. Uh, you know, and, and I feel like that's why Canelo's moving up in weight. He's washing up the division. He's, you know, climbing up the ranks in uh, different organizations and, and divisions and he's beating the champions up there and uh, you can't take any credit away from Canelo you know he's moving up in weight and that's why his body looks bigger he's lasting longer yeah but because uh, he's getting smarter he's evolving he's not 23 18 years old anymore you know he's a, he's a prized fighter he's, he's shown that a lot in his uh, in his career and uh, that last to Mayweather was you know it was just uh, uh, an experience it was a big fight. Obviously, it has to get, you know, uh, advertised as a big fight, you know, for marketing, uh, uh, marketing reasons and political views and whatnot. Um, but it was still a great fight, and uh, Canelo got better throughout his career. You know, he uh, he fought a catch weight that night. He got tired, gassed out, a lot of anxiety in there, and uh, he's moving up in weight. He's being more relaxed, more comfortable in his natural weight. You know, 168 is just his fight weight come uh, come November against uh, Caleb Plant. But his walking weight in reality is like 180, 190. He's a strong, solid dude. And, uh, you know, I really hope, you know, he shuts up a lot of people uh, talking, uh, uh, you know, negative comments and then this and that about race and Mexico and whatnot. You know, you, you just got to see it for what it is. That's just the way it is. That's the bottom line, guys. Um, until next time. And thank you for watching, comment, like, till next time.